What's going on YouTube? Jeans here, back again, playing some more Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet. In today's video, dropping back onto that ranked double ladder, but this time trying out Talonflame on the Regulation D ladder. You guys already know the deal. If you do enjoy the content anytime, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. But this team right here was brought to me by That's a Plus One and his community. Huge shout out to That's a Plus One. I will be leaving a link down in the description below to his channel. So if you guys want the Poke Pace for this team, make sure you guys head over to his channel. But um, this team also features some very strong Pokemon. You got Pokemon like Iron Hands, you got Dragonite, Iron Bundle, and then you got the Dreaded Annihilate and Mousehold combo. So pairing all this up with Gale Wings Talonflame should bring us a nice little strong team and we should be able to grab some wins for you guys. But first Pokemon is going to be Iron Hands. Quirk Drive and Assault Vest with Fake Out, Drain Punch, Heavy Slam, and Wild Charge. Pretty standard moveset that works really, really well in Regulation D. In the second slot, we got the one and only Talonflame. Haven't used this Pokemon in a good bit, so I'm super excited to be using them in Regulation D. It's got Gale Wings as its ability with the Life Orb as item, so it can do some crazy big damage. It's got Faint, Tailwind, Brave Bird, and Flare Blitz. In our third slot, we got the one and only Mousehold. Perfectly pairs up with Annihilate with the Friend Guard as its ability and the Covert Cloak as its item. It's got Taunt, it's got Follow Me, Encore, and Beat Up. In our fourth slot, we got Dragonite over here. Dragonite is going to be very solid up against a lot of different Pokemon. It's got Ice Spinner to take out terrain. It's got ESP for first priority. It's got Iron Head for Flutter Mains. Loving this Pokemon all around. It's got Multi Scale and the Lumberry, Rock and Protect as its fourth and final move. In our fifth slot, we got the one and only Annihilate. And like I said, it pairs up with Mouse Hold so greatly due to that beat up move and Annihilate going crazy with its Rage Fist. It's got Defiant with the Leftovers, Rock and Protect, Bulk Up, Drain Punch, and Rage Fist for all four of its moves. In our final slot, we got the one and only Iron Bundle, a very speedy Pokemon with high special attack. It's got Cork Drive as its ability with the Focus Sash as an item, Rock and Protect, Icy Wind, Hydro Pump, and Freeze Dry. Probably the best move set for any Iron Bundle. Guys, if you want to rent this team for yourself, rent the code is that top right hand corner, but let's get after it. Let's hop on that rank double ladder. Let's grab some wins with this Talon Flame Regulation D team. Match number one is on its way, and we're going up against a few very strong Pokemon. They got Tornadus, they got Urshfu, and Didi, who I don't really see them bringing, and then on top of that, they got Fluttermane, Iron Bundle, and Great Tusk for three very strong Paradox Pokemon. But I'm going to lead the Talonflame, definitely want to showcase this Pokemon, and it'll be good, especially if they want to lead Tornadus. We can match their Tailwind with our Tailwind. From there, I'm also going to lead Iron Bundle. I really do like Iron Bundle up against you, or I could just go Iron Hands. Iron Hands is not a bad call. Do not mind you, Iron Hands. Actually, yeah, let's go Iron Hands. And then in the back end, we're going to go Annihilate alongside with Iron Bundle. Right? Or do I go Dragonite over Annihilate? Dragonite does have that E speed, which could work wonders. It can work wonders. But it's not Choice Ban or it's not next to Shen Pal. So I really like going with Iron Bundle and Annihilate on zone. So we'll lock it in. We'll lock it down. Let's look to grab ourselves a win here in match number one with Talonflame. Like I said, haven't really used Talonflame. In Regulation D, there's just so many, I wouldn't say better options, but Pokemon like Tornadus that can kind of do what Talonflame does, right? So Tornadus has just been taken over, so up until whenever the uh, DLC comes out, which I think it's in a couple weeks, until we get some new Pokemon, Tornadus is going to stay thriving. But they're going to end up leading Tornadus alongside with the Tusk, and from here, I am just going to rock into a Tailwind, and I might just terror you in the grass. Which is money. Actually, we can just fake out. We can just fake out the tusk turn one. Just to see what he's going to do. We'll fake out the tusk. But I highly doubt it's Cobra Cloak. Or I highly doubt it's Ghost te Terror Type 2. So, instead of wasting our Terror, we'll just uh, get a little fake out going and kind of kind of read the room, right? We'll see what's going on. If I go Tailwind, are they going to match my Tailwind? They are. So, Tailwind for Tailwind. No big deal. No big deal. No big deal. So from here, now I'm just going to Brave Bird. I'm going to look to KO you, because if that thing's not going to Terrasalize, I'm cool with not wasting our Terror type. So I'm going to go into a Brave Bird, look to KO that thing, and then just go into a Wild Charge into an Honest. Because if it didn't Terror that turn, I highly doubt it's going to Terror this turn. One could hope, right? Cool. It doesn't Terror. Brave Bird's going to come out here, and it's Life Orb. It should KO. It does. Cool. Talonflame. Again, things start off hot here. You get a crit, but I don't think the crit matter. I think we were KOing regardless. Get on out of here, Great Tusk. So we we read the room pretty well. We don't waste our terror type here. And what are you going for? You're going to go for a sunny day. That's so fine by me because you are now dead. 
So he wants to save it. Uh, he wants to set the Sunday day for Protosynthesis Boost. And honestly, if, if Fluttermane's Protosynthesis Boost is not in speed, Talonflame could potentially outspeed and do some crazy damage with Flare Blitz. Crazy damage. Absurd amount of damage. So we'll see. They gotta have uh, Fluttermane, right? There's Fu's gonna come out here, and now his next Pokemon, Fluttermane. Now it's gonna be Iron Bundle. What was the point of the Sunny Day? What was the point of Sunny Day? Very confused on the Sunny Day. Very, very confused. More than confused on the Sunny Day. More than confused on the Sunny Day. Don't really understand it, but I'm gonna go into a nice little Brave Bird there. And I'm just gonna go into a nice little Drain Punch here, just so I can recover some HP. But our opponent cancels battle. We love it. Hot start with Talonflame, picking up a KO, and picking up a quick win. Second match is on our way. We started things off hot with Talonflame. Let's look to keep the ball rolling. Match number two on its way, going up against an even stronger team. They got Shen Pao, Urshifu, and Dragonite with Iron Hands, Fluttermane, and Tornado. So, very strong team. Talonflame, I might want to lead it again, right? Talonflame's going to be solid here. Gets at the Tailwind, just like we did in the last match, and kind of get after it. So, do I go Talonflame here? Talon, Talon. Mmm. Maybe. Probably. Possibly. I kind of want to bring my dragon. I could go Mouse Hold Annihilate maybe for a lead. Try to get a bulk up. Yeah, I kind of can get down with that. I actually really like that. We're going to go into both of them. And then as back end Pokemon, Iron Bundle is going to be great. And then last but not least, let's go Dragonite. Yeah, we're not going to bring Talonflame here. Do we go Dragonite or do I go a Pokemon like Iron Hand? I do like Dragonite for the ESP, but Iron Hands is great. I really do like Iron Hands, especially with Heavy Slam. Take out the Flutter Beam. I'm going to bring him. I'm going to bring him. So let's lock it in. Let's lock it down. We're not going to be bringing Mouse Hold. Oh, no. We are going to bring, be bringing Mouse Hold. We're not bringing Talon. Flame, what I would say. So we use Talon Flame in the first match. We'll use it probably in the third of the final match, but I want to grab ourselves a win here. So I'm bringing the big dogs. Annihilate Mouse Hold getting after it. So let's see who they end up setting. It's going to be Flutter Beam. The Flutter Beam. Alongside with Tornadus. Uh, okay. Let's see, you got that special attack boost. That's totally fine. Um, and I could. What terror type you got now? Like, we got fire, which is oh, just so, so lovely, so beautiful. We love it. We love it. Um, I'm just gonna go. F Do I follow me? I think I'm just gonna beat up here. Beat up in Terra. And bulk up at the same time. Or do I Rage Fist? I'm just gonna Rage Fist. I think it's a simple play. It's a simple play that we have to make, right? Such a simple play. So look at that lovely little Fire Terra. If I can get rid of Fluttermane, that'd be, that'd be huge. I was kind of hoping Fluttermane would more so be a back end Pokemon. That's why I brought my Iron Hands. But we got the Fire Terra, which works perfectly. Lovely little fire terror. He's just gonna go for Fur Gleam. It's cool for me. It's cool by me, because I'm pretty sure, almost positive, as long as you're not Sash, you are a goner. But Mouse Hold's gonna dodge out. Annihilate's gonna take a little bit of damage here. And I'm gonna get the speed drop, which kinda hurts the soul. Not really, because I get the fine boost, but I'd rather have some speed cooking. But I'm gonna go beat up here. Doing four damage each turn. And I'm going to throw a Mean Rage Fist onto the Flutterman slot. Mean Rage Fist. A mean one. I'm going to say bye-bye to you. Unless you're Sash. I doubt it, though. Yeah, you're going. Get it on out of here. So we get rid of you, and I'm thinking of just ripping a Dream Punch and maybe following me next turn just so I get back some HP. Lovely HP. We end up going for a Bleak Wind Storm. I could have taunted. I was thinking of taunting, but I, th I figured the Tornadus would just go for a Tailwind. And it would go before my taunt, so there was no point. But it'd be like that. Good thing my Annihilate did dodge that attack, though. Let's see who they end up bringing out here. It is going to be Iron Hand. So none of my Pokemon, actually, my what's called can be faked out, which kind of sucks. My Annihilate. And I wonder if they are going to do that. I might just protect. I could hard swap. Might be my play, right? Hard swap and just protect. Yeah, I'm cool with that, because then I get to bring out my Iron Hands and get a fake out going that way. Because chances are they're going to fake out the Annihilate slot more, more than likely, right? 
But at that point, they're only using one turn. I can swap into Iron Hands here. We'll be fine. We shall be chilling. There's no way they fake out the Iron Hand slot. Yeah, see? Cool. So they fake out the Annihilate. We block it up. Probably another Bleak Wind Storm coming out here, which both my Pokemon, or in this instance, one of my Pokemon is going to be able to soak. Or hopefully he just dodges it. Iron Hands, you got this dodge. We do not. But you soak. Yeah. Cool. Big time swap from us. So now we have a little bit of power. We can fake out one of his Pokemon. And I think we are going to fake out just the Iron Hands. Do I fake out the Iron Hands or do I just go Wild Charge here? I think I'm just Wild Charging and going for a Drain Punch here. We're, we're plus two on attack and I would love to get some HP back. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. No fake outs for me. I'm going straight after this guy because I feel like we're in a decent position. The only problem would be if his Iron Hands outspeeds my Annihilate because Annihilate is minus one. It is minus one. But if I can land Stream Punch, I'm going to do some big damage and get back some big time HP, which I would, I would adore. We're going to end up seeing a Terra type come out from Iron Hands, right? No, Tornadus. That's weird. That's very odd. He's going to go into a Ghost Terra type. For what reason, though? Kind of confused at that, but okay. The Bleak Wind Storm's going to fire. So do not get the speed drop on my Annihilate. Please do not get the speed drop. Of, co of course you get the speed drop. I'm plus four. If I, if I can land a Stream Punch, we're doing some big time damage. But Wild Charge is going to come out here, and of course the speed drop came into me. It really hurts the soul. It really does. But I guess the Ghost type was trying to dodge the fake out, but I should just probably fake out the, uh, the Iron Hands. I was not expecting this thing to last last because I really just want to pick up a KO. So I end up going into a nice big time wild charge. Lovely damage comes out. And I think we just go back into Mouse Horn here, right? Really? You got the speed drop on me for minus two? I think a minus one Annihilate could about spread the Iron Hands. But yeah, 127, and chances are that Iron Hands is about the same speed as this. Actually, would have been cutting it close. We'll be cutting it real close. But we do have Iron Bundle as a back in Pokemon. I really want to keep it that way. So I'm going to go into Mouse Hold here. And I'm going to try to just get off some shots with Iron Hands here. Finish off some Pokemon. So Mouse Hold's going to come out here. Um, He's going to die out to Drain Punch. And at this point, I'm just going to go Wild Charge. I'm going to go Wild Charge. I am just going to go follow me. Yeah, I'll just follow me in a shot. And we'll go KO for KO here. KO for KO. On top of that, I think Tailwind would end. That'd be big because Iron Bundle could get some. I love me the Iron Bundle. Especially with the Sash. It's just so huge, but I don't know how good we're looking. It's looking kind of tough. The Bleak Wind Storm's going to fly here. Iron Hands is going to finish off my Mouse Hold, and then my Iron Hands is going to come across and finish off the Tornadus. But yeah, this is not looking good. A full HP. Iron Hands, mm -mm. Mm -mm. plus my Iron Hands can be low HP after just recoil damage. This is not looking good, unless we can protect, maybe make a read. But it depends what Pokemon they have in the back end, because they still have one more. What you got cooking here? What do you have cooking? What do you have cooking? It's gonna be Shen Pao, and yeah, this is, that's a doozy right there. That's a, that's a doozy. That is such a doozy. But I gotta go Drain Punch. I gotta look to get back some HP. And do we go for an Icy Wind? I'm gonna go for an Icy Wind. I'm gonna hope that Shen Pao goes after. This one I'm really hoping. I'm gonna hope that the Shen Pao is going after my Iron Bundle. Because if that's the case, my Iron Hand should outspeed and finish off Shen Pao and get back a ton of HP. So we'll see. We're going for this. We're going for a nice little Icy Wind. Take off Sash. Slow down both of them as well. And we're hoping Shen Pao's going after my Iron Bundle. No, it's not. What a good call. Smart call from my opponent to finish off the Iron Hands. Now Wild Charge is going to fly. Let's go to the game. I feel like that was a, that was a last ditch effort right there. That was definitely a last ditch effort. Because now we're Sash. He can just constantly spam Sucker Punch until I make a move. And then I'm going to die. So we're 1-1 one one here. Second match. Came a little close. I feel like I definitely could have played better. But we're going to hop into that third and final match. And try to bring you guys a winning record. Final match is here. We are sitting at one and one. We had a quick victory in match number one, ended up losing match number two, and now we're looking for that winning record. Going up against a Murkrow team with Chiyu and Fluttermane, and they're also rocking out with the Mousehold Annihilate combo, just like us, alongside with Robin. So should I lead Mousehold Annihilate? 
I kind of want to. I kind of really like it, right? I kind of really like it. I'm going to go Mouse Hold. I am going to go Annihilate. And in the back end, uh, I like Iron Hands. Iron Hands is going to be super effective onto the Mouse Hold, onto the Chi Yu, onto the Flutter Main. I like that all around. And then last slot, do I got to bring Town Flame? I want to bring Town Flame, but I'm going to bring Iron Bundle because I want this when you wreck me. Iron Bundle is just going to be so solid. It's going to be one of the fastest on the field. It's going to get cooking. Let's say bring Murkrow and set up a Town, which is a probability, but. At that point, I might just want to set up bulk ups with uh, with an eye leap, just trying to get after it that way. Because that can work out really, really well. Just bulk up and then just bench, just drain punch, drain punch, drain punch, and just get a bunch of HP back. You guys already know how good an Annihilate is. But they end up leading Annihilate Mousehold. Guess what? Guess what? I'm leading Annihilate Mousehold as well. Want to play games? I'll play games. That's fine by me. So I do have Encore, which is gorgeous. It is lovely. And I'm just going to taunt the mouse hold and I'm gonna go for a bulk up here. But a terror bulk up? But a terror bulk up. I am gonna terror bulk up. The reason I want terror is I do not want them going for a beat up into a into a rage for me, right? That can really that can really ruin my day. It can, it can really ruin my day. So we got a little mirror matchup here. A little bit of mirror matchup going on. And he's just going for a follow me. It's totally fine. I think we're both going for bulk ups. I'm just taunting this. I'm saying, yo, that's enough out of you. I mean, he could be going for a drain punch, but in this case, I like how we got enough a nice little bulk up. So we're plus one attack, we're plus one defense. And he's joined the fun. <laughs> he's joined the fun. It's good to know my Annihilate is faster. So you know what? Now it's going to be a perfect time. You just go beat up Rage Fist. I was going to Encore him into bulk up. I could have done that. But I think now's the perfect time. We're plus one on attack stat. We, we know we're faster than him. He can't follow me to shot. I can really just start getting after it. A super fangs to come out here. That's a little scary. That's terrifying. But here comes my rage fist. How much damage is this doing? Okay, oh, cool. See you later. Get on out of here. Get on out of here. So now I'm looking to potentially just follow me and hit up on the mouse hold and try to get back some HP. That's a hot start for us. It's a lovely start. We get rid of our annihilate. That's big time. No, at the cost of half of my annihilate's HP. But dude. Quick video today. Turning off the console. Yo, we love it. We love it. 2 1 for today's video. We had some quick matches. Little bit of a shorter video today. We had match number one go quick and match number three go quick. So, nothing too crazy, but we did grab ourselves some winner record, which is absolutely amazing. Got to use Town Flame in match number one, dominate from there, make our opponent cancel. Match number two, we end up losing, but the match was pretty long. And then, second, or not second match, then third and final match, we end up just dumping on the Annihilate and making our opponent rage quit and turn off their console matches. It's always good. It's always fun when that happens. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spend some positive day, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.